All right, hello, wine drinking people, and we've got a couple segments we're gonna to run together here. Louis de Sassi, just one champagne, so we'll, we'll we're gonna review that with our Gallo wines because there's three Gallo wines. So, uh, how long is it gonna take me to talk about these four wines? Three minutes? Eh, you never know. All right, well, uh, this family has been growing grapes since the 1600s in Champagne, and uh, let me tell you, there's no bad Champagne. So, I mean, I'm willing to drink anything that someone's willing to put in my glass if it makes it to the shores in the United States. And we've actually shown these wines from Louis de Sassy before, a uh, smaller family-owned firm, but noted as a negotiant because he buys from his grandfather and his father. So technically, unless you only use your fruits, you cannot be... Uh, well, they have an RM and NM and uh, Ricolant, which is a, a grower producer, which the trend today is grower producer. But, you know, to be honest, the great houses of Champagne, one of the arts of making great Champagne is blending the wines together. So some of these big houses definitely have an advantage in off years. All right. Well, the uh, this is wine is a blend of 67% Pinot, 3% Pinot Meunier, 30% Chardonnay from Verzies, where the Grand Cru vineyards are located. They've got 50 hectares there, acres. Uh, nice peppery note to the nose here. Uh, fresh green apple, a little lemon zest, and a nice creamy mousse to the palate here. Really nice tart kind of lemon citrus, green apple fruit, bright and focused, and uh, maybe a little light on the dosage, not kind of as uh, fruity as some other champagnes, but really nice, uh, clean, and fresh style. Uh, excellent bottle of bubbly at $39.75. All right, well, Gina Gallo, um, married to um, Jean-Charles Boisset from Burgundy now. I've heard they just bought uh, Robert Mondavi's old property in Napa Valley, his home. So um, congratulations to those guys. And just had twins also. She's now making, well, she doesn't make all the wines at Gallo. Obviously, they have a lot of different labels, but she's focusing on certain vineyard wines now that used to be uh, part of a single vineyard selection. They've got a new label. And, uh, well, I mean... Maybe not the greatest label in the wine industry, but uh, really nice wines, let me tell you. The Chardonnay Signature Series, a good amount of ripe tropical fruit and the ripe peach pear uh, on the nose with butterscotch candy, a little vanilla bean, some nice toasty smoky nuances also. A nice creamy texture on the tongue with a good hand of that ripe fruit, uh, lemon drop candy, and a nice hint of oak in there also, not dominating, and lovely freshness, really nice balanced wine for twenty five fifty. Wow, you know, when you're a family that has the infinite amount of... Uh, you know, money, you can do whatever you want. You can make great wine and sell it at an affordable price, as the Gallows are doing here. Sp signature Pinot Noir from the Santa Lucha Highlands, one of the greatest areas in California for Pinot Noir. Ripe, delicious red cherry and rhubarb-like fruit on the nose there. A good hand of fresh flowers and some earthiness there as well, with focus on the ripe, warm berry fruit. Nice amount of ripe fruit on the palate, the smooth, silky texture, and a little hint of spice and floral nuance there as well. Very good stuff. Uh, the Chardonnay kind of edged that one out just a little bit because the price is a little higher for the uh, Pinot. Um, Gallo Cabernet Signature Series Napa. Uh, a touch of Petite Sir Verdot and Petite Syrah on the blend here. And a portion from the William Hill Estate. Well, most of it, 90%, and then 10% from the Monteroso Vineyard. Uh, so very rich and fruit-driven here. Bouquet with cassis and currant berry fruit. Almost liqueur-like in concentration. Notes of fresh uh, dark earth, cocoa spice, and sweet herbs. A good amount of rich fruit with nicely balanced oak and uh, fresh earth. The terroir really starting to show through on the finish. Lots of minerality, but really velvety, smooth tannins. Excellent Cabernet Sauvignon, $34.50. All right, next up, uh, well, a new guy to us here from Burgundy, Albert B. Show.